12 News is your local election headquarters. You know, last night we unveiled the results of our 12 News Roger Williams University poll in the Democratic primary races for governor and Congress. Joining us this morning, here he is, the man who conducted the poll, 12 News political analyst Joe Fleming. Joe, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, Bright and early you. today. Let's start with the governor's race. Uh, so Governor McKee, Secretary of State, Nellie Gorbea, neck and neck right now. 25% support for McKee. 23% for right. Gorbea right now. Uh, everybody else in single digits. But 37% of voters say they're still undecided. What do these numbers tell you about the state of the race? Well, these numbers tell me that the race is wide open at this point, Patrick. With 37% undecided, this race can go in any direction. Also, we're now seeing the thir a third candidate, Helena Folks, just started her paid media yesterday. Mm -hmm. So in turn, she has a lot of money, over a million dollars. She's going to be able to get her message out. She's not well known the voters right now. So that's going to be her big point. Yeah, so Helena, folks, she is leading the race in fundraising right, right now. But again, obviously, that's not translating with the numbers no. right now in our poll. So we're talking about why that is. I mean, it doesn't really appear that voters are very dialed into this yet. I mean, the primary is still a few months away. Right. Uh, you're right, Danielle. We're seeing undecided voters high in all the races we looked mm. at. I think the voters right now are more concerned with the cost of living, the price of gasoline, right. still a little bit with COVID. They're not zeroing in on the election right now. That's why we see a high undecided. The other thing is the candidates are really shortening the election period with their paid media. They haven't really started. A few of them are just starting this week. Mm -hmm. So in turn, voters really don't know a lot of these candidates. So they're not focused on this at all. So do you anticipate, you know, any change in these numbers once more candidates start spending that money on television and the radio and in print? I do, Patrick. I expect these numbers to uh, fluctuate quite a bit between now and September, depending on what the candidates come across with their message, how much they spend on TV and print. You know, they got to get a message out. Some of these people are not known at all. So when they get known, voters might say, well, I like this person better than the other person, and I'm going to switch. So there could be an awful lot of movement over the next three and a half months. All right, one person not in the race for governor anymore, Seth Magaziner, he bowed out, right. but he is opting to run for Congress instead. And as we look at our poll numbers right now, he's way out in front, 33%, leading the other Democratic candidates by double digits. However, Republicans have not held the seat in more than 30 years. They could have a real shot at this and, and flipping it this year. One reason, because President Biden's approval rating is down nationwide. In mm -hmm. our poll, 60% of primary voters say that he's doing a good job, but 37% say he's doing a fair or a poor job. So let's talk about the president and the impact right. of that on this race. And could we see it flip onto the there's, conservative There's side? always the possibility the second district is not as Democratic as the first right. congressional district. Joe Biden's number is 60%. You might say, well, that's pretty good. Not among Democratic primary voters. Mm. You expect to see that number up in the high 70s or in the low 80% right. range. So this is kind of low for the president. So the voters in CD2 might be willing to look at a Republican this time around. We don't know that at this point. We have not polled that race. You're going to be working hard this summer, Joe. I think so. <laughs> right. Those golf clubs might stay in the trunk this summer. <laughs> so far. All right. First of many polls. Joe, thanks yeah. for joining My us pleasure. this morning. We appreciate it. Yeah, if you'd like to see the full results of our poll, you can find them right now at WPRI.com.